calming. Calming. Achieving calming. If you watch this entire calming. video, calming. 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 Achieve calming. What it really comes to achieve calming. 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 If you watch this entire video, why are players so obsessed with Calm Aim? And why is it even trending right now? I recently came across a big problem with Calm Aim that most players don't even think about. But before getting into that, let me quickly explain what Calm Aim is. Simply put, Calm Aim is basically aiming in a relaxed and a controlled way. It makes it easier to maintain consistency in gunfights and helps avoid fatigue. Calm Aim is achieved by gripping your mouse lightly without any tension in your arm. It's supposed to look effortless. That's why watching players like Kang Kang, Ye or Aspaz is so enjoyable. Their aim looks so smooth and on point. Okay, but here's the thing. I came across this study by Professor Leon E. Smith, and he found out that applying tension to your arm leads to quicker reaction times. Mr. Smith ran a test on 40 college men and found out that during condition of tension, reaction and movement times were significantly faster than when the arm was relaxed. Now here is the problem. If I play with tension, my arm wears out. But according to Mr. Smith, if I play with calm aim, I'm the one who reacts slower. I'm always the one who gets one tapped. Before we try to find a solution for this problem, I'm gonna need my lab coat and test this for myself. Now I'm ready, but I need a partner. Let me call my friend Chris. Yo, Prince. Yo, what's up, Chris? I need your help. Yeah. Okay, so I found out that when you tense, you actually shoot faster, and I want to try this out. Okay. Uh, so how can I help you? Okay, just get on Valorant for now. I'll tell you what to do. Okay, sure. Wait a second. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to go behind this wall. Okay. Yeah. And uh, peek me until you hit the wall, right? So I'm gonna shoot you when you make contact with me. Okay. I want to test my reaction time. Okay, like this? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm gonna test on a tense grip and a calm grip. Right, I'm gonna test my reaction time on both. Uh, okay, and then you compare like the results later and I peek you over and over, or? Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna switch over to calm grip now. Just keep going. How many times do you have to do this, Prince? A hundred? What? A hundred? Are you serious? I got to do. Now that we have our hundred runs for both tense and calm aim, all we need to do is measure the exact time between making contact with Chris and taking the shot. To do this, I'll use an editing software. I recorded the entire test in 120 FPS so I can count the exact frames it took me to react. I have to do this clip by clip and then add the calculation in a sheet. And I need to do this for about a hundred times. Okay, this took a while, but it's complete now. And it seems like Professor Leon Smith was right. With calm aim, it took me about an average of 25.2 frames to take my shot, which equals to 209.7 ms. Now here is where it gets exciting. Using a tense grip, it only took me 192.1 ms to react. The difference is 17 milliseconds. Now this doesn't sound like a lot, but in my opinion, it's game changing. This is literally what dictates whether you win or lose duels. When I compare the grips using a median instead of the average value, the results get even more significant, since the difference here is 25 milliseconds. Now I know the results of this test are subjective, and that maybe 100 runs are just too little, but these results align really well with the study presented by Mr. Smith. Okay, now the question is, where do we go from here? I like Calm Aim, and I see the benefits of it. I also want to play without fatiguing and become more consistent. But at the same time, I don't want to lose reaction time. And I sure as hell don't want to play gripping my mouse like this. Okay, so can we achieve Calm Aim without sacrificing tension? Yes, we can. Here is how. Appropriate your grip. By appropriating your grip, you're essentially telling your arm that this is your default stance. So it doesn't need to force anything or sacrifice tension willingly. This gives you best of both worlds. You maintain your reaction time without the need to death grip your mouse. Here is how to appropriate your grip in just two steps. Step one, identify your grip. The three main grips players use are palm, claw, and fingertip. Obviously, there are hybrids, but these are the main three we're going to focus on. After you identify your grip, you move on to step two, exaggerate your grip. For palm grip, where your entire hand rests on the mouse, all you want to do is curve your pinky 
and your thumb to the maximum. Maintaining your original grip, try to pinch the mouse with your pinky and thumb. For claw grip, do the same, but this time use an aggressive claw grip. All your fingers should curve to the maximum. For the fingertip grip, you push your mouse in so that it sits on your thinner muscle, basically your inner thumb, and then you just curve both your pinky and ring finger. This appropriates your grip. And by doing this, you're telling your body to calm aim, not your brain, achieving calm aim naturally. The aggressive version of your grip gives you the exact tension that you need. To verify our new grip, we ran the same test in Valorant, this time my claw grip appropriated, and again, I had Chris peek me 50 times. The appropriated grip was about 15 milliseconds faster than the calm grip, and the results are similar to the tense grip we've tested earlier, meaning we were able to maintain the advantages of the tense grip. Now you might be wondering, Prince, am I not still tensing here? You are, but this is controlled tension, which is different from the strict tension you experience in panic situations. With this controlled grip, your brain won't feel the need to panic and squeeze the mouse during gunfights, which leads to the inconsistencies and the fatigue. This slight steady tension maintains good reaction times while preventing the wear out caused by panic squeezing. See you in the next one.